Yo, yo, yo! What's happening? You're right, Ola. Oh, blimey heck. Alright, my goodness. Okay, um, let me get the game on a minute. Let me get the game up, and then, uh, then we'll say our hellos. Come on, game. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> please work. Sorry about this. It's been an absolute shambles today. Absolute shambles. I'll explain myself momentarily. As soon as the flipping game works. Come on, New Vegas. Here we are. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Okay. So, I've had a bit of a mare today. Um, and that's why I'm late. And I sincerely apologize. <laughs> but uh, happy hump day, everyone. Happy hump day. Happy, happy uh, Wednesday. Hope everyone's having a better day than I've had. Um, <laughs> God damn it, I've had a really bad time of things trying to uh, get uh, set up tonight. Um, I recently, uh, last night, uh, updated all my gaming drivers, uh, which made things a little bit wonky, but I sorted that all, all out last night, or so I thought. Um, but then there was a few more updates that I ran today on my PC. And uh, after they were all done, my sound was completely all over the shop. It was completely out of whack. Um, it hasn't been brilliant um, since I've installed my capture card. Um, I usually have to restart uh, my machine to get the speakers to work. But this time, nothing. Nothing was working. And I couldn't, like, I couldn't set any of the settings. It was defaulting all the time to the capture card. And uh, I had to play around, and fortunately, I did something which sorted it out. Touch wood, everything sounds and looks fine tonight. Uh, please let me know if it's not, okay? And I will do my best to sort that out. Um, honestly, though, honestly, though, I should have seen this coming. I had a really bad omen. I had a really bad omen, which set, should have uh, given me an idea as uh, something was going to go wrong. I was, um, I was out and about getting some bits at the shop. And my headphones, my headphones broke. They snapped. <laughs> well, not snapped. What happened was there's a little piece of plastic that holds it in the rot rotary system. And it's just kind of broke. And now it's dangling by the wire, um, which is a nightmare. I don't know how I'm going to live without headphones, to be honest with you. But I'll, uh, I'll have to find a new pair, I guess. Um... But yeah, that was a sign of things to come, I think, uh, tonight. So um, first and foremost, um, I really do apologize for being late. Um, it was due to technical difficulties. And um, like I say, touch wood, um, we're okay now. We're okay. But um, if there's any issues at all, please let me know. Please let me know. Um, I'm also worried. I'm also worried that... Uh, it's not going to last. I'm worried that when I shut down my system tonight and turn it on tomorrow, I'm going to have all these problems again. But um, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it, I guess. Um, I will uh, look into that tomorrow. Uh, other than that, this week, um, I've been just doing bits, really. Um, I, had a, I had a lazy day until uh, uh, all my troubles uh, happened. Um, I've had low energy today, but I'm good now. I'm just happy that everything works. And I'm happy that I'm able to stream tonight. Um, yesterday, I did some bits and bobs. I've been uh, tidying up a bit because um, hopefully uh, Physio and uh, a mutual friend of ours is going to uh, um, come over next week to hang out one day. That'll be nice. And um, I, the other thing I've got to do this week, of course, is uh, set up the PS5, uh, install the uh, SSD, um, and set that up for streaming, for, ready for Monday. But uh, other than that, other than that, I'm all good. And I'm all good now. More good here to be streaming. Happy to be streaming. Glad to be streaming. And uh, it's Wednesday. So um, what we're going to do today, uh, we're going to be getting on with, uh, with Fallout. Now, um, I'm, uh, I just need to familiarize myself with what we did last week. Um, hold on. I'm going to reload. Ah, oh, there we go. I can hear the sound. Maybe I need to turn up my speakers a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's just do, do a really quick reload. Because I uh, wasted a bullet there. There we go. All right. It's not save scumming. We're just uh, 
testing some stuff. Right, so um, last week we um, started doing some things for the Great Khans. Um, I didn't want the Great Khans to be consumed by the Legion. So uh, I've been working with them uh, to try and convince Papa Khan um, to, uh, uh, to not join them. Um, in addition to that as well, we're still working for the Brotherhood, um, hence why uh, we haven't got ridden Veronica yet. Veronica, we've done a, a companion quest, um, but while I'm, uh, while I'm finishing things up with the Brotherhood, um, which we just need to return uh, to them and, and turn some things in by the looks of things, we were um, helping them fix their air, air filtration system in their bunker. Uh, so we've got the components and uh, what's these optional ones? Look at the Brotherhood's history files uh, relating to elders being dismissed from their position. Oh, okay. We, so we can we can opt to get McNamara um, uh, uh, dismissed from uh, his elder position if we want and help uh, Paladin Hardin find a way uh, to become uh, the elder instead. Uh, but we need to find Regi uh, Regis. Uh, Regis. Regis was here, right? He was in Red Rock Canyon. Hmm. Okay. Convince Melissa to speak out against Caesar. Find Regis. Oh, right. Find Regis evidence that the Caesar will annihilate the Great Khans. Ah, okay. All right. I got it. Um, the evidence will be in Cottonwood Cove. That's why that's going there. Now we've got to go and find Melissa. Um, that's what we've got to do next. Apparently she's here. Uh, maybe we can go there from... Uh, from Good Spring Cemetery. We just go. Uh, we just go east a little, and uh, I think she'll be there. I think she'll be there. So let's uh, let's go and look for her. Let's go and look for her to start with. All right. Uh, you right there. Whoa! Lovely oh, house. Get the cat out of me. My companion. Oh shit! Didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, I wasted that bullet anyway. Um, but uh, my companions are on top of things there. That's, uh, that's good. Right, in this direction, apparently. Okay. We do have uh, a shovel in our possession now as well. So we could dig up the graves here. I'm not going to, though. Um, they usually just give you a couple of bullets here and there. So um, no need to, I don't think. Um, I don't know where I'm heading right now. Or where Melissa could be. But apparently she's over here. What we'll do, um, we'll, um, as we need to head to Cottonwood Cove as well, we will change our companion uh, for that. Oh, God. Uh, we're surrounded right now. Oh, it's scorpions. Big scorpions. Giant variety. Apparently we're heading... Veronica, are you okay? Whoa! Alright, okay. They're getting a little close. A little too close for comfort. I'm gonna go for the Stinger, for the 95. Give me a critical, please. There we go. Oh! One's coming after Eddie. Oh god. Right. Uh, go for the tail again. I don't have the AP. I'm running out of ammo for this gun as well. Right, any more? I'm really badly running out of ammo uh, as it goes. Now, I don't see how Melissa could be down here unless she's dead. Oh, there is a friendly blip on my uh, on my compass here. Um, apparently she's over the other side. Perhaps we came the wrong way. Guys, guys, please don't die. God. Oh god, there's loads of them. Right, shotgun time. Oh, there's loads of them. Okay, this might have been the wrong the wrong route to take. Leave her alone. Whew. All right. I think she was about to die. Hopefully she's not poisoned. She might still die from poison. Where are you, Veronica? Okay, she's fine. Where's Eddie? Eddie's fine. 
Uh, okay. We're going to have to find another way around, maybe. This was definitely the wrong path to take. There are friendly blips, but they must be over that other side of the hill. There's some orange ticks on my compass. Which means friendly. And uh, they're right by where the quest marker is as well. Oh shit. Oh, he's only a little one. He's only a little one, that's fine. Shit, there's even more around here. Okay. Oh, great. Alright, fine. What's attacking Veronica? Oh, God. I think she's going to die. Yeah, she died. Alright, okay. Right. Let's take a different approach. There's too many, uh, too many insects around that way. Uh, okay. I think we could get there from maybe... Yeah, we went to Good Springs that last time. Let's go, let's go from uh, Sloan. Oh, I think I know where she is. I think I know where she is. She's um, near the quarry. Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I, I recall where she is now. Right, down this way. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get to sorting out your death coil problem, I promise. Even though it was probably... Uh, even in game, it was probably a long time ago by now. Right. I believe they're up th around by this quarry somewhere. Uh, we just have to try and get to her without uh, disturbing any death claws. Because uh, if you thought scorpions and, and kazdors were nasty, just wait until you see death claws. What's attacking Veronica? Oh shit. It's only a young one, but still. There we go. Cool, we took one down. Right, now, I believe, right, up uh, up there, up on this side. If we go this way, we should be okay. Right, let's, oh god, we're in danger. Oh my lord, it's right there. Um... Yeah, that just rinsed us in seconds. Okay, this isn't going well. That's how quickly a death claw will destroy you. I think it one-shot me. But that's where we need to go, though. Why the flip are they hanging out there? That's where I'd like to know. Could we go south from Bonnie Springs, maybe? I doubt it, as I'm pretty sure they were up that way uh, in the quarry. Um, yeah, we can't get there from here either. Yeah, we're going to have to go to um, Sloan and try and get there. Um, maybe, right, maybe if I make Veronica wait and then uh, I do... Uh, I'll I'll just stealth it. Uh, wait here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Eddie should be fine. Eddie's just extra uh, firepower, really. He uh, he's not melee, right? Hopefully my uh, hopefully my ammo for this gun will will last as well. Yeah, we gotta uh, approach carefully and quietly and stealthily. Right, there was a young Deathclaw, though, wasn't there? I think I see him on my compass already. Yep, there he is. Hey, fuck you, buddy. There we go. I can say extra firepower with Eddie. Because he's, uh, he's not melee. Salmon, Mecha, my boy. How are you doing today? Uh, all the better for seeing you, Salmon. Uh, gotta be honest, I had a bit of a mare before we started. All of my sound... Uh, all of my sound settings went funny after updating my PC. That young Death Lord does not care about me. 
Also, why isn't then stay back uh, kicking in? I'm pretty sure I took that pick. But uh, yeah, how are you do doing, Salmon? Hope you're doing well, buddy. And uh, thanks for coming along. Happy Big Wednesday. Right, before, before I get into uh, Deathclaw territory proper. Oh no, I hate having to read two audios, that's rough. Yeah, it was a nightmare, dude. Um, it was after uh, an update. Um, I don't think my audios were great to begin with anyway. I've been having issues with it for some time now. But, um, oh, dude, I had a meh. I had an actual meh. But um, it's all good now, though. It's all good now. Glad to hear you're doing great as well, Salmon. Right, let's give you a shout-out, buddy. Since it's soup, I'll just give it a... Yay, soup! <laughs> give it a good old taste real quick and kiss it all over. Soup. Ta-da! <laughs> I love the bit. I heard something. No, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I love the uh, I love the uh, virtual kitchen uh, clips. They're the best. <laughs> These really are Twitch's favorites. <laughs> it's because they're great, dude. It's because they're great. Um. Okay. Got to be really, really careful here. We're dealing with death claws. Death claws are not cool. Um, thinking about it, maybe I've got something better to fight them with. Because um, my ammo is running really low on uh, on paciencia. Um, I'm not so great with uh, with energy weapons at the minute. Um, lucky, lucky's good for criticals. I'm gonna have to stick with paciencia and hope the ammo I have. Uh, carries me through but uh yeah it's uh also another really warm day here in sunny wales today we've been told um or warned that it's uh heat wave and uh i've heard as well they're gonna ban hose pipes uh which hasn't happened really since i was a kid since i was in like primary school i remember that happening oh fuck we're dead we're totally dead oh there's two of them I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, there's three of them. Eddie's dead. I'm gonna die. Hmm. How are we gonna approach these death clothes? I think they have, um, I think they have natural armor. I think they have natural armor. Maybe, uh, armor piercing would, uh, would work against them. Um, right. This is the, this is the way I'm gonna have to approach, though. If this doesn't work, again... Then uh, I'm going to have to come back later. But these stupid cons that I have to speak to are hanging out around a bunch of death clones, clones for some reason. I don't know why they do that. It's a pain in the ass. Right, Veronica, you can stay with me this time. Holy crap, so many death clones all out of nowhere. I know, dude. This place, is, uh, this place is dangerous. If you remember way, way back, the guy in Sloan asked us to take him out. And uh, what you have to do... Um, in order to complete that, you have to kill the, um, I think it's a Deathclaw Queen. It's either a Queen or an Alpha. And, it's, and you have to go in uh, all the way, all the way deep into that canyon, which is swarming with Deathclaws. And uh, kill, uh, kill the boss Deathclaw. And uh, it's no joke. It's no joke. Honestly, I don't know why and stay back isn't kicking in either. Unless I haven't taken it yet. Let's check. Let's check. And stay back's really useful because um, you've got that uh, chance to knock them back. Yeah, I've got it. I don't know why it's not kicking in. Never mind. Okay. How are we looking? Uh, oh, God. My H2O is not great. Well, how am I looking for purified water? I think I picked up quite a few from the vault, right? Oh, I've got, I've got quite a lot. There we go. That's better. That'll do for now. Just keep an eye on uh, food and sleep, really. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. All right. This young death claw isn't a problem. There we go. Now, maybe... Jesus Christ, Veronica. I'm getting 113 experience just from young ones. That's pretty cool. Now, maybe if I can get a vantage point and snipe them. Let's try that out.
Problem is, though, Veronica will run in and attack them because she's melee. So i got to take them out before they get to me. Nice. Nice sneak attack. One by one. That's also what I like to see. Whoa! Jesus Christ. Careful with those grenades, Veronica. There we go. There's one down. I've got nine bullets left to take down any more. There's a couple up there as well, other than this one. I think that was a miss. Brilliant. That wasn't. He's almost dead. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, God. Veronica, stay away from him. Oh, thank goodness. That was close. All right. Right, I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to use my paciencia really, really smart now. Uh, maybe to grab the attention of them and then uh, finish them off with. Oh, there's one right there. There's one right there. Where are they gonna go on me? Lucky. Lucky, you'll have to do. Oh shit, there's two of them. For the oh god, all right. Okay, we're screwed, we're screwed. Okay. <sighs> we will get through this, I promise. Like I say, one, if not, uh, we'll have one more try. But failing that, I'll, uh, I'll just go off and return to the Brotherhood. And we'll come back when we're stronger. Right. Veronica, you're going to have to stay. Because you keep getting killed. Uh, wait here. Should have brought some. Okay. Now, I think we're on to a good strat, though, on those uh, rocks. If I get up on those rocks, they won't be able to get at me. If I can get it a bit higher as well, that'd be even better. They better be in here now. Otherwise, I'm not going to be best pleased. Yeah, look at that. Right in the middle of Quarry Junction. Why? Maybe they're stuck there. I can't really remember. I do uh, remember them being here, though. Don't forget about the young one over there. Right. Take him out. This isn't going very well. Do you know what I noticed as well? Eddie wasn't firing um, the same shots. He was just firing regu regular laser shots. Death claws, death claws are no joke, Salmon, you're right. Death claws are vicious things. Ideally, what you need is like power armor or something. Something really, uh, really, some really good defense against them because uh, they do a lot of damage with their swipes. A lot of damage. Um, what other ammo have I got for this thing? None, I guess. I got the right ammo on that? I think so. Yeah, I got no other uh, 308s. Brilliant. But uh, they shouldn't be able to reach me here anyway. Oh, just die already. Jesus Christ. There we go. Okay, now, the two that um, came at me just last try, I'm going to have to try and uh, just sneak past them. I'm not fighting them. Right, we're hidden. Right, we should get a sneak attack now. Cool. Right, wait to go back into hidden. 
That'll save ammo. You'll lose interest in just a second. We're in caution right now. Come on, lose interest. Apparently not. Apparently he just wants to stay in caution. That was another critical though. Okay, fine. Torso is crippled. The one um, one way to deal, uh, well, semi deal with these though, if you can if you can get them in the legs, is to cripple their legs. Once you cripple their legs, they're not as fast. They're really really slow, and that um, it's like uh, it's like with the Cazadors. With the Cazadors, if you cripple the Cazadors' wings, they're not as bad a threat. But uh, hopefully we've taken out enough now that we can sneak around. Let's fuck fighting those two down there. Hopefully we don't alert them. And then I think I can get around to uh, who I need to speak to. Also, before I forget, purified water. Now, uh, I'm not sure if there's going to be any more down here, so be careful. I think they're all down in the center now, though. I think we're uh, good, as long as we don't alert them. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's the corpse. <laughs> that's the corpses of the ones I just killed. Right, okay, that's a relief. Oh, I think they're down there. I think they're down there. I don't know why they're down there, because it's pretty daft of them to be down there. They're surrounded by uh, death claws. Right, please do not alert any death claws. Let's get ready though, just in case. Any mush <gasps> shit, I just saw one. It's fine, it's fine. Right, quarry junction. Cool. Apparently there's something down there. Are we close to our destination? Not really. Not really. Pretty sure we're safe though. Oh, shit, there's one. Shit, okay. Alright. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Here we go. I'm back in hidden, thank god. Okay, we didn't alert any others. That's fine. Apparently there is one more though. There's one more dead ahead. God, this place is horrible. Let's see if we can take a peek from somewhere safe. Right, there is red all over my compass and it's making me really nervous. Really, really nervous. Why the hell are these great cons down here? Hopefully. Hopefully I can get a good vantage point maybe and uh, take a few of them out without them being able to get to me. I'm in caution. I'm in caution. Shit. Oh shit, there's uh there's the mother there. There's the mother there with all the babies walking behind a single file. Where is the person I'm looking for though? That's the question. I wish I had ammo left for this, I could take that guy out. Eddie'll be fine up there. He's floating uh where that thing can't reach him. Um, I'm gonna have to use Lucky, maybe. What are the uh, what are the good range weapons have I got? Maybe that, but hmm. Yeah, let's try it. It's not really great at range, but okay. We're only in caution. This is fine. 
Nothing, nothing should be able to get to me either. We're not doing great damage, but it's, it's doing the job. As long as Eddie stays out of its uh, way, we'll be fine. There you go. Cool. Right. Right, we're back in hidden. Nice. Now, while I'm here, on this vantage point, apparently there's something down here. Eddie, get back up here. Why is Eddie down there? Right, this is fine. This is fine. Come back up to me. I was going to say, while we're on this vantage point, if I could take out that mother death claw, that would be great. Because it can't get to me. Problem is, though, I can't f see where it went. Oh! Oh, shit, there's a lot of them. I think there's an alpha as well. I think that one there with the massive horns, I think that's an alpha. Do I dare pick a fight with him from this vantage point? I don't think so, because Eddie keeps dropping down there, and uh, I don't want him to die. Okay, all right. Let's keep moving. Moving towards our destination. I missed my way up. It's fine, it's clear anyway. We cleared out the death claw up here, so if it is the wrong way, we'll just come back. Hopefully I don't get spotted. Man, this is tense. This is tense. Is the guy we just killed. He's an ash pile now. Aha! Okay. The tick is now on my compass. Oh god, there's something up there. Apparently there's something right next to them. Oh god, there's red everywhere. Like, how strong you gotta be to capture one of those? <laughs> uh, it's so crazy to think that there are captured death clothes. Yeah, um, yeah, I guess. Uh, the Enclave, uh, the Enclave uh, put, like, um, helmets on them. And um, they use, like, there they are. There's the guys I need, I need up there. Um, they put like, uh, they use radio waves to like kind of control them. And they put like these weird helmet things on them. That happens in Fallout 3. You very, very, very briefly as well, um, you can mess with the computer terminal. And you can gain your own, very own Deathclaw companion, but it's only temporary. It's not permanent, unfortunately. We're still pretty cool. Right, you stupid bloody cans. What are you doing up here? Why are you... That's close enough. What do you want with the great cans? Hold on. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, what are you doing up here? Seriously. Not delivery, but it's a no-show. I'm guessing that the death claws in the quarry have something to do with that. Um, what kind of delivery are you expecting? Supplies to make chems. The NCR is the best source since they're hard to come by anywhere else. We don't really use the chems ourselves. Just sell them to anybody with the caps. If it ends up hurting the NCR in the process, that's a bonus. Um, seems like an odd place to pick up a delivery. The Khans and the NCR don't get along. They prefer to shoot us on sight, even if we're not looking for a fight. I kind of don't want to agree to help her, because I want to get away from these bloody uh, death claws. These death claws are a real issue. Um, they can, you saw, you've seen how quickly they can annihilate me. Um, oh, I'm going to have to, aren't I? Yeah, I'm going to have to, because I'm going to, I need to convince this girl, um, to speak out against Caesar's Legion and convince Papa Khan not to join. So, uh, I'll help you with your problem. Is that right? What's your angle? Um, a favor for a favor. 
All right, fair enough. You help us out, and I'll owe you one. I was expecting a shipment of chemicals. It's usually in a suitcase dropped off in one of the big machines up here. Because of the death clause, I have to assume the suitcase is still in Sloan. Snoop around the place and get it for me. Oh my god, okay. Anything else I should know? Don't kill anybody if you don't have to. I'm a scout, and I like to keep a low profile. Alright, fine. Uh, got it. Goodbye. Alright, let's make that our active quest. Jesus Christ. Search for a suitcase at Sloan for the chemical supply shipment. Right, so we're gonna... Okay, alright, let's go to Sloan. I can't fast travel, there's enemies nearby. Oh shit, I'm in caution. What are these cons doing? Are these cons, they're going after whatever's got me in caution. Which is obviously a death claw. Oh, I can fast travel here. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness I can fast travel here. So I don't have to do all that again. Um, I just picked up an uh, empty whiskey bottle, which I don't want. Uh, empty whiskey bottle. Get rid of that. Okay. Did he just deal with the enemy that was uh, not letting me fast travel? Is that what just happened? Dang. No. Okay. All right. I just need to get clear of, uh, of death clothes. And then we can fast travel. Oh, God, this is scary. Right, okay. I also, though, I also can't help but consider uh, that there's a death claw in that thing. Right there. What happened to the cans? Did the cans die? No, they're over there. Ho! Ho! Ho, he might be the alpha. He might be the alpha. Eddie, what are you doing? Stop there. Oh my god. I think we're dead. Yep, he's an alpha. He's an alpha. I think we're I think we're very dead. I think we're gonna be very dead. I'm doing no damage. Eddie's died. Brilliant. Eddie, why did you have to do that? <sighs> he's trying to drive the crane. <laughs> oh, Eddie just got us murdered. Maybe it, maybe it wasn't a good idea to take Eddie. Now I've got to do that all over again. Yeah, I'm going to leave the, both my companions behind this time. Right, let's try this again. Blimey hack. Right, both of you are trouble. Right, wait here. Also, you, wait here. Yeah, you can keep each other company. I'll do this alone. I'll go into the death claw nest alone because you two are nothing but bloody trouble right hopefully we can do this uh god damn it right i'm going to um i'm actually going to equip uh this immediately we'll use this instead of paciencia because uh it was doing all right and i haven't got much ammo for paciencia Right. This should go much better with just me on my own and uh, loads of ammo for this thing. Right. Let me get up on these rocks. Let me get up higher than that. I don't feel comfortable. There we go. All right. Okay. I haven't forgotten about the young one. I'm just going to uh, get into position before I actually murder him. Let me up there. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Right. Now we'll start with this guy. There we go. We got rid of him. In hindsight, I should have just left them both behind from the start. I thought Eddie would be uh, would be fine though. Okay, right. This should be a good spot. His buddy doesn't seem to care. Good thing I've got a lot of ammo for this gun.
I'm getting the odd critical. There he goes. Okay. All right, that's one down. This guy's uh, on caution, though. He knows something's up. Oh, back up. Paciencia was probably the better choice, after all. I'm going to be careful of the ones down to my left. I don't want to alert them. If I do, there's going to be trouble. Just die already. Oh my god, he's got like 1 HP. There we go. That's weird, I only get like 45 for the big ones, where the little one gave me like over 100. That's really weird. Oh well. Okay. <clears throat> now it's time to be sneaky. There were a couple on the way though. Um, I hope I can deal with them by myself. I've been through most of the ammo for this thing already. Stay hidden. Alright, we're fine. Right, Paciencia, I think. I'm not going to take the risk. Paciencia does a lot more damage. Especially on sneak attack criticals. So, uh, I'm not going to take the risk. There he is. Okay. Right. Over here. Look at that damage. Oh, God. Um, alright. He's buggered off. Oh, he's come back. Shit. Alright, shit. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, maybe I should have stuck with Paciencia. Uh, not change to the shotgun. Okay, change of plan. Change of plan. We'll go back there later. Um, what I'm gonna do now instead. Uh, we'll go back to uh, we'll go back to the Brotherhood. Um, right. Map. I'm not playing with death clothes today. Death clothes are not my friend today. Look at all these scorpions. Oh, are you having some trouble there, Mr. Scorpion? Stuck in the ground. Hold on. You, um, Salmon, did you see... You're not seeing the messages up in the top corner, I hope. Uh, this location is so rough. There's just so many damn death clothes. There is indeed, dude. Um, I hope, uh, because I'm... Right, remember the uh, problem we were getting with Elden Ring last week with the, uh, the messages? They're still coming up, bro. Ho I'm... I think, I think we're good. I don't think the stream's picking them up. Don't think so, okay. Yeah, I don't think that they are either. They're coming from, um, they're coming from Discord. Um, and if they're coming up, that's going to be a problem. Because, uh, obviously I don't want them on the stream. But, uh, it doesn't look like it, they're getting picked up by the stream, which is good. Right, okay, where's the guy we need to speak to? I don't even know why the notifications are coming up, because they don't. <laughs> they don't when I'm not streaming, and uh, I've set my computer not to bother me as well during um, stream time. 
So hopefully not. Hopefully they're not. Uh, well, I don't think they were anyway. I haven't seen them every time I've looked around. Um, where's the guy I'm looking for? Hold on. This place is confusing. I think he's in there. Okay. Ah, yeah, here we are. Uh, it's you, right? No. Uh, Lorenzo. Where's Lorenzo? You? Lorenzo. Good to see you. Alive, that is. Have you found all of the components yet? Uh, they're all right here. Really? I mean, that's great. I knew you could do it all along. I'll get right to work installing these. Why don't you go tell the Elder the good news? I'm sure it'll be a huge load off of his shoulders. Cool. All right. Let's go and see the Elder. Oh. That's cool. That's a cool little asset. Anyway. No takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? Return to Alden McNamara. If you remember, he thought that he was going to be sending us to our death. He changed his tune. He was like, oh, I knew you could do it. <laughs> right, McNamara. I've done the other thing you've told me to do. What now? Back again, I see. Have you found all the components we need? I have indeed. Uh, Lorenzo is on it. <sighs> Good news for a change. Your efforts have humbled me, outsider. You have done more than I could expect, even from my brothers. Moreover, I've been going over the scouts' reports and keep coming up with the same conclusion. The NCR is not the threat I've believed it to be. We should not have had to rely on your help in this crisis. I believed my actions were guided by caution and prudence, but I now see the truth. People called me a hero after what happened at Helios, but I left that battle scarred by fear and have allowed that weakness to govern my actions. That ends now. I will undo the wrong I have done my brethren and lift the lockdown. With luck, we will once again flourish. Please, take this. It is a small token of my thanks, and scarcely begins to repay the debt owed you, but is all I am allowed to give an outsider. This key will allow you to use our safe house. Oh, hooray! Fast. I hope it will prove useful in your travels. Awesome! That's really cool. Uh, now we get um, access to the Brotherhood of Sa uh, Steel uh, safe house. That's awesome. And uh, we're liked by the Brotherhood as well. Cool. A cool 900 XP for that. Uh, Elder. Welcome, Outsider. Welcome. The lockdown has been officially lifted, and everyone seems to be in good spirits. Awesome. With the surface open to us once again, Harden's already started talk of sending a force out to attack Helios. But I hope to dissuade him. What can I do for you? Um, should we join the Brotherhood? I want to join the Brotherhood. You've certainly earned the right. But I'm afraid there's a slight matter of protocol that must be dealt with first. Exceptional individuals, like yourself, are sometimes allowed to join the Brotherhood if they perform a valuable service for it. While your actions up to this point have been commendable, I am afraid they don't quite qualify as such a service. Oh? However, I do have another task that fits the bill rather nicely. Would you consider undertaking it? What do you mean I haven't done enough? I've done loads for you. Uh, yes, what is it? As one of our patrols discovered, the mutants just to the northeast have become strangely violent in the years we were secluded. However, this turn of events could also be an opportunity. We mostly left the equipment of the communications array there alone, out of respect. As the inhabitants have now proven themselves hostile, no more respect will be accorded them, making their equipment fair game. Is I this Black Mountain? To to the summit of Black Mountain. I've already and dealt with them, dude. Remote signal transmitter in one of their consoles. It will allow us to tap into the radar and other detection systems running there, assuming they're still operational. If we're going to operate on the surface again, it would be nice to do so with as much information at our fingertips as possible. Good luck. Well, you're in luck, my friend, because I've already dealt with uh, Black Mountain. So I think, right, I think we should be able to just fast travel there and uh, sort this out. No problem. Uh, so let's leave. Let's leave immediately and uh, head straight over to Black Mountain. Uh, this is the way. And also, uh, what we'll do as well is we'll go and check out the Brotherhood of Steel uh, safe house because it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's the best one. The followers uh, safe house is pretty cool. It's a pretty good safe house. <laughs> what do you mean don't qualify? <laughs> exactly, dude. 
I fixed their air filtration system. I found all their scouting parties. I've uh, helped Veronica find a pulse gun. I've done all sorts for these guys, and it's not it's still not good enough. What the fuck, dude? Right. Uh, quests. Yeah, here we are, Black Mountain. I don't think there's going to be any danger up here. Oh, apart from rads. Fuck, I forgot about the rads. Yeah, everyone appears friendly. Right, um, let me quickly pop a rad X, though, because the rads appear are crazy. Uh, where is it? Where am I looking? Okay, it's further down. Much further down. If only I had a sprint button. Yeah, all the, uh, all the ticks on my compass are all in orange, so everyone's friendly up here. We've already taken care of this. I don't know what McNamara's on about. They're not hostile. I sorted this issue out. I should have just told him. This should be nice and easy, though, at least. Raul's up here as well, right? If I remember. There we go. We're out of the rads. I've done so much for the Brotherhood, and they're like, nope, not good enough. Right, I'm going to use a rad away. Just one. Just to deal with the rads I just picked up. If this was Fallout 4, though, uh, rad away is not a good idea. If this was Fallout 4 survival, rad away messes you up really badly. Broadcast building, second floor. Okay. No problem. Right. <clears throat> Here we are. I just realized something as well. Being as Raul is here, you're going to have to come back and pick up Raul and uh, go through those rads again. Uh, what am I looking for exactly? This? Radar console. Uh, install the remote signal transmitter. Uh, you quickly install the device as directed. Immediately a small green light on it begins pulsating, indicating that it has begun transmi transmitting. There we go. That was nice and easy. Uh, before we do go back to McNamara though, uh, I want to... I can't remember where it is. It did, um, it did pop up on my uh, map marker, though. It said that, uh, it, said that uh, it was added to my map. The, uh, the safe house. Um, where, though? I don't know. Brotherhood of Steel safe house. Now, where's the best way to get to there? Probably this way, right? Or maybe from Bitter Springs. Yeah, let's go over here. Um, I've been thinking about starting Fallout 4 again. Got the Game of the Year version and never did the DLC. Um, I recommend it, dude. I really recommend it. Um, I love Fallout 4. Um, you, um, you were really into um, survival games as well, right, uh, Salmon? Or oh, you, enjoy, you enjoy them. Um, from what I, from what I gather, from what you play, um, I think you do anyway. Um, if if you are going to play it, shit, there's cas doors. There's cas doors everywhere. Okay, this was not a good place to go. Fuck. Um, right, take out the wings. Oh god, I haven't got a great shot. Okay, I didn't cripple its wing. Wow. Okay, that worked out. Veronica, I've given Veronica grenades. She's got grenades on her, and she does use them, which is cool. Right, we're hidden. Okay. All right, let's just sneak past these uh, Cazadors, because these... Oh, my God, Eddie. Do you always have to get their attention? Do you always have to get their attention, Eddie? Uh, why can't I... Game? There we go. Right. Get the wings. There we go. Okay, cool. Cool, we're good. Shit, this was not the best way to go. Not the best way to go about this. 
Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, try it with survival on, Salmon. It's a totally, totally different experience. It kind of, like, breathes new life into the game. Um, I've never tried um, the DLC on survival, though. Um, I've never actually managed to get that far. But the DLC is cool. Far Harbor, um, a lot of people uh, really hold that um, DLC in high regard. Um, it's pretty cool. You get a big map. Um, and uh, it's quite it's quite a cool uh, place to explore. Um, Nuka World's pretty cool as well. Nuka World's got some annoying parts to it though. Um, but uh, yeah, um, it's uh, it's I I really like Fallout 4. I really really do like it. <laughs> Eddie has an insatiable bloodlust apparently. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna be uh, swapping out Eddie eventually though. I don't know how soon. Maybe tonight. I don't know. Depends on how far we get with uh, the Brotherhood. If I can, um, if I can uh, get the Brotherhood wrapped up, then I can uh, get rid of Veronica. And uh, who we'll be picking up, we'll be picking them up from Freeside, so we can pick up um, uh, someone to swap out for Eddie as well, which will be cool. Right? Okay. Apparently, it's up in this direction. Bloody hell! I did, I picked the worst route to take. Didn't realize he was going to be swarming with, uh, with, uh, what are they called? Kazdors. Kazdors are a nightmare, dude. Hold on. Oh, Eddie, what are you fighting now? Oh, they're, n oh, they're Night Stalkers. Shit. Night Stalkers can be a problem. Good job, Eddie. They can be, uh, these guys can be dangerous as well, mind. Don't sleep on these guys. Uh, right, let's get him. Better shot. Okay, I'll take the 60. Give me a good shot on this guy. Dang. Alright, take double 60 then. Oh, there's bloody millions of them. There's millions of them. We're gonna die. We're gonna end up dying to Night Stalkers after defeating those Cazadors. Oh, I missed. Alright, brilliant. Veronica, no! No, Veronica! Oh my god. Alright, fine. Okay. Okay. Let's try a different route. Let's try a different route. I do want to show off this safe house. So, let's try a different route. Um, Durable Dunn's Sack Caravan should be fine. That should be safe. Yeah, so we survived against Kazdors. And died to Night Stalkers. Brilliant. Which way am I facing? I'm facing the right way. Apparently, uh, something's wrong. What's wrong? I'm kind of okay. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll drink some purified water. Wow. Some seagulls. Alright. This shotgun is not doing the trick anymore either. I think um, I think there's an issue with um, and stay back and that shotgun. I do have a riot shotgun somewhere that I've stashed. I need to switch over to that really. Okay, there's enemies up ahead. Okay, golden geckos. I think we might be able to deal with golden geckos, hopefully. Also, I need to pick up some ammo for this gun. This gun's really good, but I've got no ammo for it. <laughs> Eddie and his insatiable bloodlust. He's like, stupid organics. Right, let's not bother them. Let's not bother them. Let's try and get past them if we can. Live and let live. Oh, there's a guy up there. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. As long as my companions don't start on them, we'll be alright. How far away are we? It's quite a distance. That's okay. Let me sneak by these geckos. We'll be alright. That's right, you guys. Don't start anything now. Alright. Ooh, there's a friendly up there. wonder who's uh, friendly. I'm intrigued. OK, 
Okay. All right, I'm I'm curious. I'm curious. I know what they say about curiosity, but I am curious. I'm also my uh my mouth is dry. Second. All right, cool. All right. Oh, it's just a Brahmin. Okay. So, uh, what's this location then? Oh, Raoul's shack. Nice. Okay. Is he here? I wonder if he came here. No, he didn't. Oh, this is Raoul's house. Okay, I'm glad we found that. That's a good thing to have uh, on uh, on our map. Okay, now straight ahead. Is uh. We're going to have to pick up Raul at some point. I assume he's still at Black Mountain. And uh, we'll pick him up and we'll uh, we'll get his companion quest line done as well. I'm going to try and do them all if I can. Raul's not next on my list though. All this just to check out, just to check out the, um, <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, why, why, why is there such nasty things everywhere, why, 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 why is there, why is the Mojave being murderous today? There's something around the corner as well, I bet there's another one. I bet you there's more. 100% there's going to be more of them. Okay. Okay. Alright, you guys. Do not start trouble. Live and let... Oh, <gasps> there he is. Okay, alright, 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 alright. He's coming this way. Alright, we're in caution. We're in caution. Um, My guys are fighting it. It's a young one. It's a young one. You are Veronica, you're doing you're doing damage, it's fine. We're hidden again, thank goodness. Right, okay. Whoo! Alright, that me that I panicked a little there. Go away, death claws! Yeah, my sentiment's exactly salmon. Def <laughs> this episode's just gonna be called Death Claws. Oh god, there's one over there. There's probably one this way as well. Okay, keep quiet. Don't you two pick a fight now. Don't you fucking dare. I swear you're going to get us both... As, as all three of us killed. Right. I think we're out of the woods. I think we're out of the woods. All this, all this, just to go and see the Brotherhood's uh, safe house. Wow, those seagulls are really noisy at times, right? I hope, uh, I hope it, you can't hear the seagulls. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to have to rejig all my audio. Um, they might be getting picked up today. I haven't closed my window either because it's flipping warm right now. Is this it? Oh, please be it. Please be it. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hopefully there'll be some useful stuff here. Or valuable stuff. So we can make some caps. I do need to, um, I do need to stock up on ammo. Hello, who are you? Hello, my good sir. What can I do for you? Um, are you always here? Not always. I have other places I need to be, but I stop by every few days or so. Cool. Okay. Can you repair something sure for me? Ah, shit. He does. He does charge. He's got a repair skill of a hundred. That's nice. Um, how much would that cost? Whoa! That's nearly all my money. Fuck that. All right. You're too expensive, buddy. No offense. Um, this isn't just it, by the way. Uh, I'm just having a look around for anything useful. What's in here? Nope, nothing. Uh, let's get in here proper. proper. Um, loads of uh, loads of cool stuff in here. In fact, um, electron charge pack. Uh, that's good for um, for heavy uh, 
heavy uh, energy weapons. Uh, you can get missile launchers here. Um, power armor, tons of power armor here. Uh, you've got T-45Ds, uh, T-51Bs, a T-51B uh, helmet and a T-45 helmet. Recon armor, if you were interested. Uh, five millimeter ammo as well, if you were interested in that, if heavy weapons uh, were your thing. Uh, Tesla cannon, Tesla cannon here. This uh, ammunition here is for the Tesla cannon and the Gatlin laser, I believe. Uh, but yeah, that could be your first uh, Tesla uh, cannon of the game. Uh, anything in these lockers? So um, this is some fairly good stuff around uh, in this uh, safe house. Um, all the lockers are empty. There's two workbenches as well if you wanted to uh, make some ammo or, or, or anything of that nature. So uh, it's pretty decent here. Pretty decent. Obviously there's the guy as well with the repair skill of 100. Bit steep though. Bit steep for my liking. Uh, but yeah, um, we just risked death by death claw uh, just to uh, go and take a look at that. So let's return back to uh, McNamara now. Um, where are we? Whoa. Hold on, what's going on here? Where's the, uh, where's the bunker? Over here? Ah, okay. I thought the game went a bit wobbly for a second then. Alright. Okay, cool. And then uh, hopefully we're done with the Brotherhood. Oh, hello. There you are. A few of us wanted to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood. Oh, so we've no set problem. aside some of our recycled energy cells. Oh wait, thank we'll you. you. That's so that kind. In the corner every so often. Paladin scoff at using recycled ammo, so no one should mind. Oh, awesome. oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you very, very much. Where's this locker that you speak of? Huh? Ah, here we are. No? Wait, what locker is he on about? Did he just hand him straight over, or? No? Never mind. Anyway. Yeah, we're, uh, the Brotherhood are loving us right now. Maybe not so much Veronica. Which is kind of funny, because she's from the Brotherhood. But, uh, they are loving us right now. We're going to get um, something very useful uh, soon as well. Possibly now, um, if he allows us to join the Brotherhood now. We're going to get something extremely useful. So, uh, McNamara, my good man. Hello. Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance. Uh, I installed the device up at Black Mountain as instructed. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. Now then, it is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood. I'm a Paladin? For meritorious service Not only am I allowed to join, I go straight up to Paladin. I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. You normally go from, like, um, Initiate to Knight, then Paladin. Paladins are high rank. The only um, thing higher than Paladin, I think, is Elder. There we go. That's, um, that's what we were after. That's uh, exactly what we were after. Now we've got Power Armor training. In um, 3 and New Vegas, you couldn't just um, straight up equip Power Armor. You had to um, get training. Um, and that's what we're going to get now. So please do. First, let's go over how to put it on. There we go. And we go into fade to black. Some time passes, and now we know okay. how to use uh, power armor. Got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. Fantastic. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you, not just the more mundane arms. You're a member of the Brotherhood now, and your gear should reflect that. Fantastic. Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. You've done I so pretty much, much could anyway. Otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember that you will always have a home here. There is one issue that I have here though, McNamara. Okay. Uh, the old gift that you just gave to me. He gave me some uh, T45, right? And it's terrible. Look at the condition on it. Do you know what? I'm just going to leave it here on the floor right in front of him. 
I don't even want your gift. It was terrible, terrible power armor, and it made me over-encumbered anyway, so you can have it back. Right, let's get out of here. And uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to go and pick up um, a new companion. Because uh, we're pretty much done with the Brotherhood, as far as I'm aware. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So we're pretty much done with uh, the Brotherhood now. Are you alright there? Why were you walking like a zombie? And you just... Alright, let's get out of here. Things are getting weird. Things are getting really weird. Okay. Oh, this might be the locker. Yeah, here we go. <gasps> oh, that's really good. Take all that. Nice. I'm over encumbered. Brilliant. Um, Eddie. Eddie. Help me out, buddy. Uh, what, do I, what do I need? Microfusion cells. Oh, just microfusion cells. Okay. Take all the rest off me, dude. Um... Yeah, take all these. Do I need energy cells? No, just microfusion cells. Wow. Uh, take all these energy cells. Uh, he can't. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Eddie wouldn't take anything off us, would he? He's got the riot shotgun as well, but it's in bad condition. Um, I tell you what. Give me microfusion cells. That's a lot of microfusion cells. Uh, give me... Give me 200 of them. God, this is going to take a while. No wonder he can't hold on to anything else. He's got all this ammo. Oh my gosh. Yeah, give me 200 of them. That should give me 250. That'll do. Right, now, take, uh, take these energy cells, and can you take these? Yes, you can. Okay, fantastic. Uh, we're still overweight. Um, if I give him back, maybe he'll take back 100, or 150. Yeah, there we go. That's just enough. Excellent. Let's go. That was a lot of ammo, though. That was nice. That was nice of the Brotherhood. <laughs> so, yeah, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Um, I know I just dumped some uh, power armor on the floor. Like an ingrate. But um, hopefully we'll be getting m uh, a much, much better set. Now, Veronica, um, it's time for you Listen, to go. I want to thank you for helping me out. I'm sorry that things didn't go like I'd hoped. What do you mean? But at least I got the chance to try. At least I know for sure that there was nothing I could do. Thank you for giving me that chance. Uh, okay. Um, right, time for us to part ways. Why does everyone always say that? Uh, we'll meet up at the Lucky 38. Nice. Can I order room service? Of course you can. Right, okay. Off you go. Right, now we're going to go and get um, our new companion, uh, which we're going to work on now. This involves going to uh, Freeside. So, uh, let's go to the North Gate. Ah, hello. Man, I thought those tin cans of Mr. House were tough before. Okay, right. Hey, wait, did we go the right way? Am I in the right place? I want to be going to a... Ah, here we are. Old Mormon Fort. Actually, we went in the best way. We're right next to where we want to be. Oh, we got trouble. I hear gunshots. Okay. Alright, this is fine. Let's just go. Old Mormon Fort. Now, I want to pick up um, a companion here. Before we lock out um, his, uh, his quest. That? Because if you go too far into the main quest. Um, it'll lock you out of this guy's companion quest. So let's pick up Arcade Ganon. Hi. If you're looking for medical help. Try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher. Not even a particularly good one. Um, let's see. 
What kind of research? Oh, you know, finding alternative treatments for common illnesses and injuries, stim packs, out of barrel cacti, and other fantastic improbabilities. As far as fruitless wastes of time go, it's quite noble in its aims. Uh, what's the goal? For the past hundred years or so, the followers have managed to get by using salvaged medical supplies from the old world. But the side effect of medical success is that more people live longer. Funny said that. <laughs> Eventually, we'll run Busy out. what's up, bro? We need new How are we doing? Happy hump day, dude. Or maybe Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good week. You said you were um, quite busy this week, right? Hope, uh, hope it's not been too bad. Not staying, but hey, thanks for popping by. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Like I just said, I, I know you're busy, so uh, that's fine. I understand. I understand. But I uh, hope you're doing good, bro. Hope you're doing good. I've had a bit of a mare today. Um, a lot of my stuff on my PC updated, and it f fucked up all the sound. But luckily, I fixed it. Luckily, I fixed it. But it was stressful. But uh, I'm good now, though. I'm good now. Um, you don't sound too enthusiastic about it, Arcade. I'm enthusiastic about helping people, but nihil no way soup so late. Uh, isn't that the language of Caesar, that Caesar's legion speaks? Caesar can cite Cato to suit his purpose. Many people have spoken Latin. Some of them were quite pleasant. It's unfortunate that the language is now associated with the gentleman across the river. So... We found out pretty quickly that R.K. Gannon here, um, he's, um, he's part of the followers of the Apocalypse, by the way. Um, but he's um, a very intellectual man as well. Um, where did you learn that? Not from the Legion, if that's what you're getting at. Books, sheet music, gladiator movie holotapes, bits and pieces here and there. The followers have extensive libraries, but we all draw water from the same old well. Even Caesar. Oh, do you know much about Caesar? Ah. <sighs> I don't know anything that the others couldn't tell you. Caesar was one of the followers. Before my time, of course. Oh. He wanted to rebuild the new That's world in the image of the old. A sad story of good intentions gone bad. In that regard, he's hardly unique. If you set aside his leadership capabilities, extensive knowledge, and ruthless cunning, he's just another jerk who steps on people to get his way. Okay. That's interesting. I'd, um, either I didn't know that to begin with, or I'd just forgotten about it. But Caesar was actually part of the followers of the Apocalypse before uh, he formed uh, Caesar's Legion. Let's talk about something else, Arcade. Certainly. Um, why do you research instead of providing medical assistance? Not all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Though it has a noble goal, I don't think this research will yield much fruit. No pun intended. Why don't you come with me, my good man? No offense intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? Ah, with a speech. Uh, this is why speech is amazing, and you want to get it up as quickly as you can. A uh, speech actually helps you out in a lot of situations. So with speech 75... Things are bad around here. I'd like to make a difference, and I'd like to help. I'd like you to help me. Hmm. That seems appropriately resolute and yet vague. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and go with you. But let me be clear about something. If you plan to help Caesar's Legion, this is going to be a brief relationship. I may not have all the answers for how to fix Freeside's problems, but Caesar taking control isn't part of the solution. Fair. Fair enough. There's something about that robot that doesn't seem all right to me. I'm not saying we shouldn't take it with us. I'm just saying that if it were to fall into Lake Mead and be irreparably damaged, and if you threw an EMP grenade in after it, well, there are worse things happening in the world, right? You don't like Eddie. You're kidding me. What's your problem with Eddie? It just seems a little twitchy. Some of these robots, you look at them the wrong way, don't screw in a vacuum too bright. The next thing you know, you're a pile of ash on the floor and someone's stepping out of a vertebrate to sweep your remains into a Nuka-Cola bottle. Well, I'll keep an eye on it. Safety first. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Eddie, you hear the man. I'm not... Right. Um... Companion protocol terminate. Uh, return to base. Ah, there we go. Lucky 38. There we are. That's where I wanted him to go. That's fine. Okay, I didn't know that um, that happened with Arcade. I didn't know if you had Eddie with you. Um, Arcade commented on that. Right, now, our next port of call is something actually quite fun. Um, 
First things first, though. This rat's back. Hold on, kids. Hold on. Uh, let's hit it in its hind leg. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, street tough. Arcade's a beast as well, by the way. I know he looks like, um, he looks like he's just a science guy. Um, like a Poindexter or a nerd. He's actually a beast. He's got a plasma pistol. And he's really good in combat. To the point where, um, ooh, he's got a sheriff's hat. Nice. I'm taking that. Um, to the point where, um, <clears throat> he might actually be really useful against death claws in, um, in, uh, the quarry. So, um, he's going to be much better at dealing with things than Veronica was. He's an absolute beast. He's got a great weapon. Um, he's got, pla like, a plasma caster or a defender or something. Now then. Now we're going, uh, somewhere really, really interesting. Uh, before I do, though. How are we doing for time, guys? Oh, we've got time. It's fine. Right. Um, let's, uh, let's go and see the kings. Now, we've run into Pacer once before. If you remember, we were uh, a bouncer for the Van Graffs. He tried to get in, and uh, we stopped him from getting in. This guy is an absolute dick. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Who's the king? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? In Freeside, the kings rule. And the king rules the kings, got it? Yes, I'd like to see the king if possible. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? Uh, speech again. This is why uh, speech is, uh, is very, very valuable. Um, we could offer to pay caps, but um, I'm not going to do that. We're going to uh, use our speech. I'm new in town and wanted to pay my respects. You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. King's the bored looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Cool. And that gets us in. And uh, here we are. And you notice these guys all have a s similar sort of uh, attire and look to them. And uh, you've got an uh, impersonator up there on stage. And uh, here's, uh, here's the man himself. Here's the king. Hello, king. Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Uh, I was hoping you might have some work for me, uh, king. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what. You do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? What do you need me to do? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Yes. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside is not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Uh, sure. Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. Cool. All right, 200 bottle caps. The street tell me you haven't paid our mutual friend Oris a visit yet. Well, I'm getting to it, King. Chill out. Um... I've, you've only just asked me to do it for you. Right, let's uh, let's go and see this Oris guy. Personal space meaning anything to you guys? Okay, so um, basically, uh, the kings they try and keep uh, law and order in Freeside, but um, the reason why uh, the king has asked me to go and hire this guy. Is to go and check him out, basically. This guy is apparently um, acting as a bodyguard. And he's making a killing in doing so. And the king wants to know uh, what he's up to, essentially. So uh, we're going to go and hire this guy. 
because the king has uh, kindly covered the cost and uh, see what's going on. Right. Um, that's odd. The king right here, right next to him. Anyway, Oris. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. How much for your services, my good man? 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the south gate. Okay, I'll hire you. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. Okay, cool. So let's keep up with him. We don't want uh, we don't want to fuck this up. No uh, no sightseeing, just like he said. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever knew their services. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare you. Come to they don't outnumber you five to one. He just dissed uh, the kings there as well. Kinda, anyway. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freeside till you've been to the Wrangler. Okay. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Now, this is where um, this is where the con starts to. Uh, show itself. He says he doesn't like a few of the men up ahead. So we're taking a little detour. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was a legit free side thug. Okay, I thought that was... Never mind. Alright. I didn't realize that was actually a freeside thug. I thought we were still part of. Uh, never mind. Right. There's one shot. Right. He shot. He shot three shots. Right. He shot three shots. Don't worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Hey, you only fired three shots, and there are four guys there. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. Or oh, you just faked this whole thing to drum up repeat business. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. Now, there's some... Um, there's some... Uh, after you. I don't have Stay the barter close. for that check. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Okay, let's, let's just go and check these guys, right? The thug appears uh, dead, a victim of your recent fight. Oh, I, I haven't got the medicine. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's it. Or is it there we go. Now we figured out his scam. It was all just a scam. He did only shoot. He didn't shoot these guys because they were just playing dead. If I had the medicine, I would have been able to um, have seen that they uh, they were alive. But uh, being as I didn't have the medicine, I just shot them, and they just got up because they were dead. Uh, so I can't get that one behind, but that's fine. Uh, I'm nearly dead as well. I'm nearly dead already. Uh, Oris has really fucked me up already. But we got Arcade with us. Hopefully Arcade will take down Oris and we'll take down the rest of them. Or not. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. Right. I've still got some AP left, so we can take care of these guys. Like I said earlier, Arcade's a beast as well, so... Uh, okay, we're going to only take the one shot. Uh, let's go for it. I missed. Brilliant. Arcade will be able to take out street thugs. It's fine. Um, what I'm worried about is my actual health, though. So let's get some healing on the go. Um, I'm going to go with... Uh, we'll try and stack as much as we can. Uh, let's eat that. Eat that. Uh, gecko steak. Let's get a load of uh, healing on the go. Uh, Nuka Cola as well. That's good healing. Purified water, and then uh, I'll just do a stim pack as well. Remember, it's over time as well, so uh, it's not instant. I'm still, I'm still in some danger here. 
There we go. See what I mean? Arcade is a beast. Arcade is an absolute beast. Turn to the king and report that Oris is dead. Right. What did you have on you, buddy? Hunting revolver. Okay, that's not, that weapon's no joke either. Right, let's go back and see the king. And tell him uh, it was all just a shakedown, after all. Uh, there we are. There's the king's hideout right there. Okay. And by doing this, hopefully then, um, we'll get the next part that I, I want. Um, there's a specific reason I spoke to the, the king, uh, when I did. They, um, their whole deal, by the way, if you look, their, their headquarters is a school of impersonation. They're actually, uh, this is a school that trains, um, Elvis impersonators. And what I figure happened is that they got, um, like, footage or um, books and documents of um, what they would teach Elvis impersonators. Because obviously this is Vegas, right? And um, from what I gather, they were just like, wow, this guy was the king. You know, everyone loved him. He was like the king. His name was the king. And they all based their identity and their whole gang around Elvis Presley, which is pretty cool. Uh, hi, the king. What do you have for me? Or it shouldn't be a problem any longer. Ah, so it went down like that, huh? I guess it can't be helped now. Well, you're not subtle, but you get the job done. That's good enough for me. Maybe you can help me with something more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while... Uh, Mortico. First playthrough. Uh, since the strip was built. not really. In turn, it's my first playthrough in... In a couple of years, though. But, um, I've played this game to death over and over. Oh! Mortico, thanks for the follow, buddy. Thank you very much for the follow, I appreciate that. Um, I, um, my first... <laughs> thanks, Mortico. Um, yeah, I first played this game, uh, back in, uh, 2010, when it first released. I played this game to death back on the 360. And, um, I played it... The last time I played it was probably probably about f three or four years ago now. Yeah, but um, I, I played it semi recently. Semi recently. Um, I forgot. What I didn't really listen to what he was saying. Uh, I'll head over right away. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. But uh, thanks for coming along as well, uh, Morco. Thanks for coming to uh, hang out. And uh, thank you very much for the follow again as well. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Happy big, uh, happy big Wednesday. Right. Okay. So we're going to see the followers. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. All moment for it. Okay. Which is this way, right? Through here. I do love this game. I love. Um, I love all the uh, fallouts. Really. Um, I haven't played anything prior to Bethesda Fallouts, though. So I haven't played number one, number two, um, Tactics, or, or Brotherhood of Steel. But um, all the ones since three, I absolutely adore them all. They're uh, brilliant games. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, let's talk to this guy, uh, Roy. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Uh, the king asked me to look into your attack. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Uh, what can you tell me about the attack? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some <laughs> caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanting to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets, and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. Uh, Mortico. Uh, oh sweet, this game is my absolute favorite game ever. Me and a small group of new devs are recreating this game and its map in a different game for an RP... Oh, for a roleplay server. Nice, nice. Um, I thought you were, I thought you were going to turn around then and say you were... Um, uh, one of the uh, devs on uh, the um, 
uh, mod for Fallout 4 where they're recreating this. And I was about to go, whoa, whoa. But uh, that sounds really cool as well. Um, there's um, a lot of um, people who actually uh, do tabletop roleplay in the Fallout universe. I would be really interested in getting into that myself at some point, um, if, if at all possible. So that sounds really cool, uh, Mortico. Um, starting from the ground up though, map is being done from scratch rather than uh, one, one to one scale. And all the people other than vendors will be actual players playing as a character that they create. Nice. That sounds really cool. Oh man, I wish. <laughs> Boss is a big deal. Yeah, yeah, true. Sorry, uh, Motoko. But um, what, you're, uh, what you're doing there with your, with your group of friends, that sounds amazing. That sounds really, really cool. Absolutely, dude. Now, um, Roy, do you remember anything about the people who attacked you? They were big guys. Young, too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. Okay, I have to get going. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about him. He saw more than I did. Ah, Wayne, you say? Wayne, it's okay. Where is he? The king sent him. Wayne! Now, Wayne isn't the sharpest fruit in the bowl, so uh, let's have a chat with Wayne. Is that true? Did the king really send you? He did. He did, and anything you could tell me about what happened might help. I don't really know what else I can add. There were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Every bit helps, thanks. Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. Oh, I got some fame in Freeside for one that. One of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something. Something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him. Lou Tenant. <laughs> probably said Lieutenant. Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, um, <laughs> uh, Wayne there, like I said, not the sharpest fruit in the bowl. He, uh, he heard uh, one of them get called Lieutenant, and he thought that that meant uh, his name was Lou Tennant. But um, that, that's kind of a clue, in a way, because um, who uses um, ranking systems like that? The NCR, right? So, um, where are we going now? Let me just double check. Return to the king with your findings. So um, it sounds as though sounds as though these guys were attacked by the NCR. Anyway, let's go and speak to the king, and see what the king has to say about that information. Um, it's all being done on DayZ, if you're familiar. Yeah, I do. Um, I haven't played DayZ, but I know uh, what you speak of. I uh, love the atmosphere that game creates. We're going for more of a Fallout 1 and 2 atmosphere with the dark, gritty stuff, but first person, of course. Awesome, dude. That sounds really cool. Really, really cool. Uh, and there's Pacer as well. Pacer's like his kind of uh, second uh, in command sort of thing. So, uh, hi, King. Have you found anything out? Or were you just here to chat? The local men were attacked by soldiers. One of the men was uh, identified by rank. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas. But now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. Okay, cool. All right, so now uh, head to one of the squatter camps. Uh, an optional talk to Julie Farkas. We will talk to Julie Farkas because I like Julie Farkas. I like the followers. The followers are one of the... Uh, they're one of the more noble um, organizations in the, all of Fallout. Um, they're all about helping... Uh, people of the waste. The followers here, they've set up in Freeside because uh, they've dedicated themselves to uh, to helping out with things like drug addiction and and things like that. So I'm gonna go and talk to Julie, even though it's optional. So like I say, I like Julie Farkas. She's cool. Here she is, Julie. Great to see you again. Hello. It's great to see you again as well. Uh, I met a kid who's uh, unsatisfied with life in the Great Khan's. Oh, I forgot about this. 
Uh, will you take him on as a follower? We're always looking for new members. Does he have any particular talent? Uh, well, he's a poet, kind of. Hmm. Well, I suppose we could always use another junior archivist in the library. All right. Tell him we'll accept him as a probationary initiate. I completely forgot about that, to be fair, so it's a good thing we came here. Uh, do you know anything about the NCR soldiers here in Freeside? Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? Uh, the King thinks the troops have been attacking locals. I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Uh, no, that's fine. Um, goodbye. Alright, cool. It's a good thing we came here first then, I guess. Because now, uh, now we can mention Julie Fox's name and, uh, hopefully, uh, this person will open up. Now, uh, where is she? Uh, the best way to get there, I guess. Hmm. It's, I think I think it's near the gun runners, maybe. Oh, let's go outside. Um, it's definitely outside of Freeside, so let's go outside and have a look. We'll have a wander around outside of Freeside. Salmon! Um, I forgot about that kid. <laughs> Laugh my ass off. <laughs> yeah, Wayne's great. Wayne's great. Lieutenant. Um, right, so we... Uh, are we in the right place? It might be this here. No, wait. Where's the? Uh... Oh, I think uh, I think we're in a completely wrong place. Free side. Free side. We want to be going. Oh God, where is this now? Um, I forget where uh, where this Elizabeth girl is. Maybe it is in here. Let's go and have a look. Oh no, this is lo this is boarded up. You can't get inside. Okay, all right, no problem. Fine. All right, back into free side we go then. That is, um, one thing though, I will say, is it is, uh, easy to get confused when you're navigating around this game, unless, of course, you've played it over and over and over and over and know exactly where you're going at all times. Uh, for like a new player, it can get quite confusing where to go and, uh, how to navigate. But, um, I want to go and speak to, um, that girl that Julie Farkas was just mentioned, and um, was just talking about. I believe she is outside of, uh, Freeside. Um, what's down here? Is there another exit this way? Whoa! More street toughs. It's okay though. Arcade's a beast, like I say. Arcade will take anything down. Um, the free side can throw at us. So, uh, we're quite alright as long as he's around. Um, this isn't an exit, is it? No exit down here. Oh! Oh, never mind. Okay, this is a squatter camp. So we'll just uh, we'll just ask around here. Hello. Uh, I hope I haven't. I wanna I wanna go and speak to um the other girl. Hold on, let me reload. Sorry, don't mean to save scum. But uh, I want to speak to the other girl first. So based on that though, we should now know where we are we are going, right? Um, and it's out by the gun runners. So let's just teleport there. The process of elimination. Um. Right. So in this direction maybe hold on oh no that's just All right where is she okay i'm gonna go around this way 
That's a dead end. Right, I'm going to try all the entrances to Freeside if I just teleport to them all. Uh, Freeside, Eastgate. Could it be here? Or was this where we just were? This might have been where we just were. Or is this the right one? Maybe this building here. Nope. Okay. Um. Right, that's to the strip. Let's go to H&H &H Tool Factory and head south. So I might not have uh, all the entrances to Freeside right now. Okay. Get where this place is. But I do want to speak to um, Elizabeth, if I'm not mistaken. Wait a minute. Right, quests. Uh, talk to Major Elizabeth Kieran and mention Julie Farkas if she's reluctant to help. Hmm. Where she is, though, is another... Another matter entirely. What's this? No. Oh, that, that is another fast travel point on the map. Hmm. Okay. Eastgate? We tried Eastgate? Who said that? <laughs> Thanks, Mortico. <laughs> Thanks for that. Have we tried this gate? Maybe we haven't tried this. Oh, yeah, we've tried this one. Oh, no, this is by McCarran. Oh, yeah, we definitely tried this one. Yeah, okay. Well, if that's McCarran, it would logically be around here, though, right? Because um, she's part of the NCR. Hold on a second. There's a building around somewhere, and that's where I want to go. She's inside. I forget. Uh, right, let's go back into Freeside. See if we can find, fr find it from there. All right, in we go. No flying corpses today? No flying corpses today. Brilliant. Alright. So from here... Uh, right. That there, I suspect, is the refugee camp, right? So let's head over to the other one. The refugee camp was by Mormon Fort. Yeah, that's right. It's down there. Okay. Oh. Street tough. Let's just deal with the street tough first. There we are. We're going to level really soon as well. Right, let's follow the other map marker then. Um, this is the completely wrong way. Don't go down there. That's where the... Uh, the refugee camp was. Let's follow the other one. Wow, it's warm today. Is it warm, uh, warm where you are today, uh, Salmon? We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Right, okay. Or was that, was that the refugee camp down here, maybe? I recognize the wall. 
similar wall. Ah! Ah, no. This is where I want to be going. This is exactly where I want to be going. I found it. Here we are. This is... It wasn't outside. It was actually inside. Okay, let's go inside. Uh, okay. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, maybe I was very wrong. Um, okay. Maybe here? Hold on, just consult the map. No, nope, there's no way in by here. Okay. Still, I think we're getting close. Yeah, I keep going this way. Keep going in this direction. Aha! What about here? Here we are. Fantastic. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hold up. What's the password? Uh, I'm here to see Major Kieran on urgent business. Please let me pass. Yeah, another uh, example of speech. If you're here to see. Oh the yeah, it's boiling. It's yeah, it right. is here as well, dude. I haven't checked the temperature today though. Um, but it's got to be like. Yeah. I hope this helps. 20 odd, tw like early 20s, 21, 22. It's got to be. Feels that way. Um, which one of you is... Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. You're all right. Are you, you look zombified. Stay away from me. Jesus. You there. Elizabeth Kieran. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen. Of <laughs> I just called to Please say... Have some. Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Physio. Uh, are you with the NCR military? Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. Um, thanks for the food. You're quite welcome. If you meet anyone who needs food or water in the area, please tell them about this place. Um, I'm not yes. done talking to you. Was there something else you needed? Um, why don't you serve the locals? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. Julie Fark has told me to ask. She said it was important. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book. Mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. And the king refused? In a manner of speaking. Our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now, there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Interesting. Okay. Did you know the strips all stirred Inform the king that the NCR previously sent an envoy to discuss um, support to uh, Freeside. Okay. So, apparently... Um, they sent, the NCR sent actually aid relief to Freeside, but, um, one of the king's men beat them up, uh, to the point where it kind of sabotaged, um, the relief plan. The NCR, after, um, their envoy was, uh, beaten up so badly, uh, decided to withdraw the effort, um, and then Elizabeth there managed to convince them, um, otherwise, that she could come out here and, uh, help the people of Freeside, but... Um, with, uh, greatly reduced, uh, supplies. Ah, uh, there we go. There's Arcade, uh, doing his thing on the... The street tough running away now. I bet he regrets, uh, coming at Arcade. Arcade's an absolute monster, I swear. He, um, doesn't seem, like, at first glance, he doesn't seem like he's gonna be all that good, uh, in a fight. But believe me, he is, he is a beast. He is a beast. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's head back to the king now. I wonder what the king has to say about that. Because it seems as though something's going on behind the king's back. Alright. Well, hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us. To work out some deal. I guess Pacer's That's like bullshit. telepathic or something. The king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. 
So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? Um, I think Pacer's just giving himself away here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. right. Let's say I still think he should know about it. That's a shame. Well, do what you want. Just don't expect it to matter. Yeah, it's very uh, very suspect that uh, Pacer there is uh. So keen for us not to tell the king about this. Hey, king! You find out something about them soldier boys yet? The NCR is distributing supplies in a building down by the old train station. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Uh, they're only handing out supplies to NCR citizens. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. They said someone was sent to discuss the issue with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? They said... <laughs> I love the king. He's great. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, they said the man was severely beaten and barely survived. Huh. That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? <laughs> um, what? King, we've got problems. Play it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell him I'm willing to cooperate. Okay, no problem. Right, so Pacer's gotten himself into a little little trouble. I think we're safe to assume who was the one who attacked um, the uh, the NCR. Um, I think it was. I think it's safe to assume that it was Pacer all along. Now then, uh, where are we going? This way. Right. Now, we've got to be really careful in this next bit. Um, to the point where I might actually leave Arcade behind. He might cause trouble uh, if we, uh, if we uh, keep him with us. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes down. We'll see how it goes down with Arcade. Now. Uh, which way are we going? Ah, here we are. Right. We've got to be really careful about this then. Uh, there's a shootout here with the Kings. Pace is not doing so well against the NCR. Um, as is probably quite obvious. Uh, because Kings aren't really military. Um, they have not really the greatest weaponry or armor for that matter. Uh, Pace, are you okay there, buddy? Why the hell are you here? Got this under control? Yeah, it really looks like you got it under control, Pace. Anyway, um, let's walk up this in this direction. Um... We, we should be fine. We shouldn't get shot. You there. Keep your hands where we can see him. Okay. Weapon and we will fire. Right. He's not kidding either. I don't know if you heard that, but the guy said, draw a weapon and we'll fire. So, do not draw a weapon. Otherwise, they will fire. Um, who are we supposed to be talking to here? Is it you? No. Um, who's in charge here? I've been sent by the king. Ah. You, Elizabeth. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Uh, the king wants to help with the relief effort. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. That wasn't him. He didn't even know an envoy was sent. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Kill him. All right, so it um, looks like we defused the situation like the king wanted. Uh, now we got to go all the way back to the king. Now, um, it's probably uh, worth bringing this up again. But um, there's a lot of uh, load zones in... Uh, the king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Nice. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. Pacer's a dick. I hate Pacer. Anyway, um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, Freeside. Freeside is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, it's one of those places again, it's, it's a little difficult to navigate. Um, it's got a couple of load zones separating uh, big areas. Um, I think uh, Obsidian themselves have said that they wanted uh, Freeside to be more open than it actually is. Um, but they were, um, they had to go, uh, it was basically why they had to chop it up into sections, um, into load zones, 
is because of the console restraints, essentially. Uh, the consoles at the time of this game's release, of course, were the 360 and the PlayStation 3. And um, it's a shame, um, because uh, it makes it kind of annoying to navigate around Freeside. But uh, don't go anywhere, King. I've got news. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty. Wait. So I'll tell you what. Just this once, name whatever you want. And if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it. Oh, and we landed. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. Now, um, the favor that he's about to give us, um, if you haven't already entered into um, the strip, you can actually ask him um, to let you pass into the strip. So, um, it, and he's not kidding as well. You only get one favor. If you don't, um, if you use it for something else and you haven't gotten uh, into the strip uh, just yet, then uh, you can't ask him to get you into the strip after he's given you one, uh, one favor. But um, luckily we're already into the strip, so we don't need that favor from him. Now, uh, I'm just gonna round off uh, energy weapons there. Um, this is uh, going to be a fun level as well because we get to pick a perk. Um, what else do we need to go up? We need to get we need to get a lockpick going in the right direction, I guess. Um, we need that to get to a hundred so we can pick up uh, pick uh, any locks. Um, I'm happy with that for now. I'm happy with that for now. Uh, energy weapons is going in the right direction as well. Now um, perk time. So let's see what's new, as we always do. Uh, voracious reader. You don't just read books, you tear into them. Damaged books you pick up become blank magazines which you can use to copy your existing skill magazines at a workbench. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to take it just yet though if I do. Uh, spray and pray, don't need that. Um, that's basically uh, you don't have friendly fire. Or do much, much less damage to companions. Um, no, we don't want that. Ooh, you have come to understand Night Stalkers. Consuming Night Stalker squeezings now grants bonus perception, poison resistance, and stealth. Nah. Uh, eye for an eye we don't want either. Don't take Explorer either. Not only, um, does it, not only is it kind of a waste, it kind of takes all the fun out of the game as well. Um, so don't ever take that. Atomic. With the Atomic perk, you are 25% faster and stronger whenever you are basking in the warm glow of radiation outside... Um, irradiated areas your action points regenerate faster and the faster um the higher your level of radiation sickness sickness becomes uh, your sense have become so keen that you can feel the slightest vibration in the ground you gain one perception and agility attributes while outside concentrated fire now concentrated fire is really good um i'm really tempted to take this as well because my vats accuracy hasn't been uh, the best so far. Uh, with concentrated fire, every t um, time you target um, a part of the body in vats, or, or you target an area in vats, every um, sub uh, every other shot that you take on the same area, it increases your chances to hit. A really, really good perk. Really, really good perk. In fact, put a pin in that one because we might come back to that one this uh, this level. Um, we've gone over strength requirements, action boy as well. I'll probably end up taking two ranks of that um, before we're done. Um, I think that's all that's new. Like I've been saying as well, adamantium skeleton is actually really, really tempting in uh, hardcore. Uh, just because um, it's not so easy to restore your limb damage. Silent running is going to be amazing as well. We'll take that before we're done as well. Um, do you know what? I'm going to go for concentrated fire. I'll go for concentrated fire. Hmm. Concentrated fire is always a solid pick, but hmm. there's, so many, there's a couple of good things though. Actually, silent running, uh, adamantium skeleton is tempting. Math raft is really good as well. You're able to optimize your pit boys' vats logic, reducing all AP cost by ten percent is really good. Any AP, uh, any AP uh, cost in VATS? Because we do, we do run out of AP quick in VATS. It would be nice to have a few more shots uh, that we could take. Tribal Wisdom. Your limbs take 50% less damage from oh, animals, mutated animals, and mutated insects. Okay, that could be quite good, I guess. Oh, um, also, actually, now that I look down the list, there's loads more that I've uh, realized are, are really good. Um, 
Entomologist is, is handy. 50% extra damage on uh, mutated insects. That's really handy. Like Cazadors would come under that um, category. As would giant rad scorpions. Oh, what's this? Up close and personal. That's how you like it. Your sneak attack criticals with pistols, revolvers, and submachine guns, whether guns or energy weapons, inflict an additional 20% damage. That's really good for our build. Um, because we've got that gun and Lucky, which um, are bonus critical. And uh, we've got high sneak. That's really good for us as well. Or hard decisions. Toughness is good in this game as well. Uh, not like Fallout 4. Fallout 4, don't ever take toughness in Fallout 4. It's useless. Commando as well, we probably want to take at some point. I might... Oh, this is so hard to decide. So hard to decide. I think... Um, do you know what? I think uh, we'll stick with our choice, um, which was um, concentrated fire. We'll stick with qu concentrated fire. But there's uh, more and more uh, perks now uh, that I can see that we'll be taking in the future. That will be really, really useful to us. So concentrated fire for now. Okay. Uh, King. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So what can I do for you? Um, that... that uh, that uh, favor, uh, first of all, though, about Rex here. What about him? Uh, it's, is there something wrong with him? He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out, and they said his brain is bad or something. Can they do anything? No. They said they don't have the tools to help him. Is he going to be okay? For now, but they said eventually he's going to get worse. I don't know what to do. Can I help somehow? I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Uh, okay. This building is interesting. What do you know about it? Near as I can tell, some sort of religious institution. Oh, I know it says school out front. But everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day. People used to come here to learn about him, to dress like him, move like him, to be him. If that's not worship, I don't know what is. There we are. So, see, um, they, um, they, they figured that this was like uh, sort of worshipping this guy called the king. And that's why they've, uh, they've based their whole kind of uh, uh, life around uh, Elvis Presley, really. Uh, it's kind of what I was uh, mentioning uh, just a, a short while ago. I love the Kings. I think that that's really, really cool, a really cool concept. That in a post-apocalyptic world set in New Vegas, that these guys, um, they just stumbled into a impersonation school, uh, an Elvis Presley impersonation school. And they just thought, wow, why, why do people try to be like this guy? This guy must have been like amazing. You know, they called him the king and everything. And then they just, just based their whole faction around uh, Elvis Presley. I think that's super cool. I like the kings. The kings are cool. Uh, right. Uh, tell me more about him. Not a whole lot to tell. There were only a few books left in here when we found it. And those were rotted away. There were some posters left that were pretty well preserved. Which is how we know all this stuff was based on the same guy. The thing of it is, we don't even know what his name was. All the posters just refer to him <laughs> as the king. I suppose that's a good way of getting around copyright as well. Um, <laughs> it's just saying, like, we, didn't even, we couldn't find out what his name was. It was just referred to him as the king. Um, I think, like, it's just heavily, heavily implied that it's Elvis Presley, basically. They even talk like him and look like him. Um, and that's where you got your name from. Well, that and the giant sign outside. This place could have been the king's house of dog chow, and I still would have taken the name. But I like to think I keep the memory alive. <laughs> if this was a school, what was taught here? As far as we can tell, the guy that built this place was considered the coolest of the cool, and taught other people how to be more like him. People would come all around to learn how to sing, dance, dress, and even speak the way he did. Is that what you guys do, pretend to be this guy? Something like that, yeah. There were some working tapes here when we first got here, so we know what he sounded like. Sadly, they stopped working a few years back, so I sold them to a junk merchant who was passing through. 
Otherwise, I'd play some for you. All the outfits you see my guys wearing around were originally found in here, too. Along with more hair gel than you can shake a stick at. <laughs> Let's talk about something else, King. Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? No, this, um, this, this favor. Uh, about the favor you owe me. Ask away. I want to join the kings. I want to be a king. Normally, we don't let outsiders join. But I think I can make an exception in your case. I like one of the guys spread the word. From this day forward, you're one of us. And no one in Freeside will mess with you if they know what's good for them. In addition, if you want to do something about that hair of yours, talk to Sergio. I'll let him know you're coming. All right. Perhaps more importantly, you've earned the right to wear something a little more stylish. Here, wear it proudly. Okay, I hope I'm not over encumbered because of that. Um, have been a lot better since you helped with those I'm just going to quickly ask him a bit more about Rex. So, what can I do for you? Um... Okay, I can't just yet. Oh. Never mind. Let's go and find Sergio, though. Are you Sergio? Which one of you is Sergio? 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 No, can't get in there. Uh, where's Sergio? Nope. Where on earth is Sergio? We'll find him. Because there's something I want to do. Now that I've become a king, I think I should look the part, right? Sergio? No. Is he around here somewhere? Sergio! Where is he? Maybe he's upstairs. I don't think he's upstairs, though. Hmm. Ah! Sergio, my good man! You return to me a king yourself. It would be an honor for me to do your hair. That is why you are here, yes? It is indeed, my good man. Wonderful. Then let's begin making a whole new you. All right, hairstyle. Um, which one is the... We want to make me look like a king. Uh, Pompadour? Maybe? Tunnel snake? Oh, tunnel snake looks uh, kind of Elvis. Should we go for tunnel snake? And then uh, facial hair we gotta lose, unfortunately. Uh, where are we? Um. Bray, dash and broke. No, I don't want one. Uh, take it off. Survivalist, rough beard, goatee. Why don't you just remove it? Facial hair. Surely there's a way of just removing it. Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. And uh, that'll do, I think. I think that's rather rather Elvis Presley like now we're one of the kings we may as well uh, get a haircut like them uh, I knew you'd be back ready for your entire life to change oh beard what's up dude oh hot to cuckoo hi I'm Sergio hi, hi guys what's up happy big Wednesday thanks for coming along if you bear with me one second while uh while we're somewhere quiet and we're not getting uh, murdered b over and over by death claws. Uh, let me sort out some uh, shout outs for you guys. Um, oop, help if I did it right. Uh, let's start with Hot Cuckoo. How are we doing guys? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Rip. Yes, science. Both science of Rocket same. League. Come on, I'm not that smart. I don't know how words pronounce. Oh, wow! Oh, I thought I was gonna go in for a second. Are you still, uh, are you still rocking uh, Rocket League, there, Cuckoo? I remember, uh, I remember when you were doing uh, um, Rocket League for science and figuring, uh, figuring out. That was quite some time ago, though. Um, let me know if you're still at it, uh, at it, dude. And uh, Beard, let's get you as well, buddy. 
<laughs> Octodad. Yes, we got undone. Or is it Octoshock? I come sooner, I need you there. Yeah, you're so much more aware. <laughs> awesome clips, awesome clips. Uh, uh, hey guys, uh, yes, you're doing well. Good to hear it. Uh, good to hear it. Uh, oh, it's Cumin as well. Hey, Cumin, let's get you involved as well, buddy. Have a look, see. Uh, Cumin. Sorry, Cumin, I didn't notice you were in amongst the crowd as well. How are we doing as well, buddy? Hope, uh, hope you're good, Cumin. Uh, about to go back to DD2 because I literally can't stop thinking about it. This is a very fun game. I like it a lot. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, Jesus, that game looks like a trip. <laughs> How am I, Beard? I'm very well, buddy. Thanks for asking. Warm, and uh, I've had a mirror before I started streaming today because... Um, uh, a bunch of my PC stuff updated, like my drivers and some other bits and bobs, and I fucked up my entire audio, fucked everything up, and then I had to sort all that out, and it took me like an hour. Um, and I should have known it was coming, because I had a perfect omen for it as well. This happened today as well to my headphones. Look at that. It's all wobbly. Okay, hang on, let me go there and shot. Exactly the same thing happened to my last set of headphones. So I should have. I should have. That was my omen. I should have known something was gonna uh, was gonna happen. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, but other than that, I'm really good, dude. I'm really good because I managed to sort everything out. I managed to stream in the end, and now I'm happy. So and it's really warm here as well. Wow. It's 24 degrees. I said earlier I didn't. Um, I didn't actually check the temperature today, and it feels cooler now than it did earlier. Um, so it must have been really, really warm. But, um, yeah, now that I look at it, it's 24 degrees. I, I guess they're like 21, 22. But um, 24, that's roast. That is roast. Driver updates last second are always mega lame. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, true that, dude. They are mega lame. They are mega lame. But thanks for coming along, guys. Thanks for coming along. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for coming to, to hang out. Cumin, what, what did you mean by DD2? What did you mean by that? Uh, yeah, I stream at night, thanks to the cold air, but the day, day was 32, that's gross, dude, that is gross, 32 is rough, but saying that, though, it's a lot cooler now, because it's like, hang on, what's the time, oh, it's like 10, to, oh, shit, I better take a break soon, uh, but it's like 10 to 10 in the night, and, uh, hold on, let's have a look at our guy, because we just got, oh, the camera's stuck on the wall, do you know what? I'll show that off later. Um, you just have to remind me. But uh, we just got our hair cut like a king. So uh, now we're fully on in the kings. So we joined the Brotherhood and the Kings today. We're uh, we're just we're just so popular today. So popular. But uh, yeah, it was it must have been it must have been crazy hot earlier. I did pop out in it. I did have a walk around, and um, it was like it was nice being out in it. It was really nice. But it was the kind of heat you could feel it on your skin, like immediately, you know? You could feel it, your, your skin getting hot. Now, uh, where are we? Nothing but a hound dog. Talk to Julie Farkas. Okay, right, I'm going to go over to uh, Mormon Fort. And then I'm going to take a real quick break because um, my butt is killing me. And uh, I haven't taken a break yet. <laughs> so uh, it is break time. It is break time. But we'll head over to uh, Mormon Fort first. Um, I'm going the complete wrong way. Oh, there's a... St I, I swear I saw a red blip on my on my uh, compass. So there must be a street tough around here somewhere as well. Um, it, oh, OG. It's around 29 today here. 29. Blimey. I had to do uh, the conversion. I work outside too. I mean, uh, that could be like a double-edged sword, I guess. Right? Because if you work outside and uh, the weather's nice, you can enjoy it. But if the weather's like searing hot and you're doing loads and like hard work then yeah that that must suck that must suck and then you i guess you get the opposite then as well in the winter you work in like really shitty horrible weather then so i guess you can't win in that respect but uh where's julie farkas oh she's right she must be asleep because it's night time she sleeps in here but um i've just got a, a, a auto save down now by walking through that load zone so it's a good time to take a break. Um, yeah, it's, it's well, I'm well due her uh, a break. <laughs> but uh, it's no wonder my, my butt's going numb. 
But um, if you give me uh, if you give me just a, a sec, guys, um, I'll be the usual five minutes, but no longer than seven. Okay, I need to get up and take a walk around. I could do with uh, getting another drink as well. I'm low. I'm low on squash. Uh, so bear with me, everyone. Okay, I will. Uh, uh, I'll be. I'll be.